and the Jace in the later state. To keep the spirits high as we look at game number three, because Derex, it is do or die right now, and they need to do it three games in a row if they want to face off against Genji on the weekend. It be really rough. Yep, Yoshi's position not given away just yet. Has the ultimate, and they land it onto the Lucian. No opportunity to flash or anything like that, and he is just going to be taking uh, three members down here. Two versus two on the top side is confirmed as Bone Skewer goes wide. Carrier goes underground, but he's able to dash himself out of the way of the no. cooldown, but not a huge deal. As Kyoshik moving towards the bottom side, Kana going to take a shot blast. Able to move out of some of the damage there, but into uh, the death chamber is where Bottom turret, turret. Equalizer, though. Yep, Doran in a little bit of trouble as the Brambles do come forward to try and get Pyoshik out of here. Able to answer with an ulti there onto Kanna as he's slowed down. And Pyoshik's just trying to run his way out. The culling still available. And the flash eventually comes in, but Pyoshik will not survive this. What well, by DRX meant that they actually ended up benefiting more from that in the grand scheme of things. Especially because that Reptile was able to live. And now TRX, they're going to get themselves an Infernal Dragon. Well, and Chobi's in trouble. He has to try and humble dash to get himself out of here, but he's not going to be able to do so. What? Chobi, oh no, they give up on the kill. Huh? The rest of DRX do come on over, but still, in the end, it is going to be a kill. Effort's going to go down, though, and so that's going to mean a one-for-one one there towards the top side. Over. A little sapling. Chobi's going to get the knock-up onto the Maokai as the double knock-up does eventually come in, but... We do have the Piercing Darkness, and that should help keep these guys sustained. Kyojik very tanky as well on this Sivani. The Shock Blast is going to go wide every time these abilities don't hit. It is good news as Doran taking a lot, but Chant Kana going to take even more. Ulti comes out from the Sejuani onto Effort, though. He is a tank. He wants to be soaking these abilities as now Chobi finds himself by himself, but able to Umbral Dash. That artillery strike for as long as possible. Oh, oh good oh. Stop the Gragas from entering. Oh, if he can steal it. No, it's not going to happen. And there is Infernal Soul. Massive damage, but the Dawning Shadow, it flies over to keep everyone away. Equalizer goes down onto everyone from Faker. As death down to about half. Effort trying to move in here. There are no smites for this Baron though, and it will be taken. The flash in. Cuz was there to try and make it a 50-50, but Baron is gonna finally defect. He chooses DRX for this game. As Kana's going down very low. Can Carrier just trying to take him, and he's gonna be able to. Gets the reset on top of it. There's the other one. So much money for DRX. How unfortunate that they're not gonna be expecting out. after watching the first two games, but DRX in this game three match point managed to fight back. They're it... trying to spend it now as we move to a game number four. Pretty consistent when it comes to this gold advantage and actually probably the most clean victory so far this series, apart from maybe game two for T1. But DRX didn't really let up as Def <laughs> did 33,000 damage, 34,000 damage, I guess, rounding wise. That's close to 50%. In fact, more.